Deal. Good. Good. Good boy. So we use the sit stay a lot, you can see. That's why it's the first thing we, we teach. Very nice. Much better from yesterday. Still far from perfect, but much better from yesterday. So that's good. Even the mine is feeling better. Deal. Good. Good boy. Heel. That's it. Good. Good. Good boy. Wow. Wow. He looks so good. Encouragement, you know. Good job. Good. That's it. Sit. Good. Break. Nice work. That was a few. Looking good job. Yeah. I didn't give him any commands. I just picked up the leash and started walking. And he assumed because I have a leash in my hand and because we're walking on the cement that maybe he should put himself right around here. And that, I didn't even say anything. He just remembered it from yesterday or the day before whenever we did this. So that he's ready to start really learning the heel command now. Nice. So I really want him to learn where the heel position is. So a nice easy way to do that uh, is to use the sit. And then from there, I'll, I'll say the word heel. I might tap on my little visual with my hand here. And then I'll guide him in so that he learns where that position is. Of course, the e-collar is always at play in our program. So that'll be involved. Heel. Yeah. Good. Heel. Good. See when I click on the e-call, it looks at me in the eyes. What do I need to do? That's why it becomes that's when it becomes easy when you got a dog who's rolling. Good boy. Heel. Good. That's it right there. That's the spot. Set. Nice. Nice. Work. Alright, one more and then we'll see over. Heel. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Very good. Sit. Good. Break. Nice work. Just a little intermission. Very nice. Just a little intermission. Oh, uh, what do we got going on here? Just the handsome boy. Somebody's enjoying this session. Hmm? Good boy. Who's my good boy? Huh? Who is? Who is he? Very nice. See how much they have to think? They really have to learn, set, they really have to learn in their minds, understand completely what the, what the word heel means. I want him to understand fully in his mind where the position is. I don't want him to have to rely on me using the leash to hold him there. I want him just to understand exactly what this command means. So that's why I'm starting over here, away from him. So if I say the word heel, he has to find that position. And by doing that after a bunch of times, once, once I realize he learns it and he knows it, um, I'm not gonna need to guide him anymore. He's gonna understand what it is. He's essentially gonna be able to do that with no leash. But first,
first, I need to teach him where to go. So, heel. Good. And I click on the e-collar. Good. The click on the e-collar, it's out of five. It's not punishing right now. It's just it's just a little tap on the shoulder, saying, letting him know that he made an error. Good boy. So it's just very clear. It's like it's like at, on a test at school where you're you're. Uh, if you get an answer wrong, they, they just cross it out and show you what the right answer is. That's how I look at a correction. It's not punishment. Punishment would be you didn't show, you didn't, you refused to take the test and you were rude to the teacher so that you got sent to the principal's office. Then you get punished, right? But correcting and punishing kind of different, you know? Good boy. Sit. Wow. He's becoming a little pleaser, isn't he? <laughs> Good boy. Good. A lot of the dog kind of figuring out the puzzle I'm putting in front of them. But I break it up into into like digestible little pieces, so it's not too overwhelming for them. Sit. Good. Good. We're gonna do one more because I like to end it with a really nice one. Heel. Good. That's it. And see how he's no he's learning because I'm not I'm allowing him to make choices and to kind of make little errors. Uh, tell him that that was that was a little off, and then let him know when he got it exactly right. And he learns it all on his own, you know with my guidance. There's no um, need to wrangle him into position, right? Good boy. Heel. Good boy. See the leash, it's, it's, it's just really there for when I need to give him a little bit of, of, uh, of information as to where to go. I can guide him if he gets super confused or something. Heel. Wow, good boy. Good boy. Sit. Wow. So he just made a little bit more knowledge today. Only a little bit, but it was an important piece. He's starting to learn the word heel means to come find this position on my leg. Um, and that's the beginning. And every day we kind of build on that, build on that, build on that. Until, you know, a week from now, he's off leash. He doesn't need the leash. He's on the long line. We're down in the field. We're, we're taking hikes and stuff. And he's really deepening that understanding every day. But you can see, we really do break it down to these little chunks until they get it and just keep moving forward slowly. And you see the confidence in this guy. If you go back from day one, you're watching his posture is different. He's looking at me more. He's, his head's up. He's feeling more confident because he understands what's being asked of him, you know? And we've built the relationship, which is important to make him feel like he's being taken care of in the pack, right? Break. Very nice. Good dog. Heel. Good. Sit. Nice. Nice. Heel. Good. Good boy. Lock right in. There you go. Good boy. 